Hey everyone and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday the 27th of August. My name is Stephen Vale and I'm the Dean here at St. James Cathedral. Today we observe the Feast of St. Monica and I'll say a bit more about her in a moment. We will use the Book of Alternative Services and Morning Prayer begins on page 47. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. We say the Benite together. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O oh, come, let us worship. The psalm for today is selected verses of Psalm 115. You'll find them beginning in the BAS on page 863. Psalm 115, verses 12 through 15, which we will say together. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great together. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God, you delivered Israel from the worship of false gods. Redeem, we pray, your people in every age from the pursuit of all that is worthless and untrue in human life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who came to bring us life in all its fullness. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 16, beginning at verse 20. Jesus said, A little while, and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me. Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will be glad. But though you will be plunged in grief, your grief will be turned to joy. A woman in labor is in pain because her time has come. But when the child is born, she forgets the anguish in her joy that a man has been born into the world. So it is with you. For the moment, you are sad at heart. But I shall see you again, and then you will be joyful and no one shall rob you of your joy. When that day comes, you will ask nothing of me. In very truth I tell you, if you ask the Father for anything in my name, he will give it to you. So far you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, just a word about St. Monica, one of my favorite saints. As many of you know, I have a classics degree from the University of King's College in Halifax on the Dalhousie University campus. And St. Augustine is much read in the program that I took at King's College. And St. Augustine is much revered 
in church history as one of the great fathers of the church, one of the great teachers of the church. If you've ever read his famous work, Confessions, you will know that he didn't always live like a saint. Augustine whooped it up, to put it in plain terms. He squandered his life in what we might call today sex, drugs, and rock and roll. The sex, drugs, and rock and roll of his time, that is. Meanwhile, in the background, his mother, Monica, prayed and prayed and prayed for her son. She was a simple woman of a simple faith, and yet her prayers prevailed, and her son became one of the greatest saints in the church. You know, one night, Augustine had a dream. He thought that he was somehow better than his mother, because he was a great scholar, renowned speaker, great thinker, and there was his simple mother plodding along through her prayers and her daily life. And he dreamed about a ruler, you know, the kind that you use to measure things. And in his dream, both his mother and he himself were standing on exactly the same spot on the ruler. The ruler measured the person's closeness to God. Well, what a great lesson for all of us. Sometimes we might think we're better than others. Sometimes we might think we're not as good as others. Sometimes we might think others are closer to God than we are, or we are closer to God than other people are. The vision that St. Augustine had about his wonderful mother, St. Monica, and her beautiful, simple, yet deep faith is a message we all need to remember. That God loves each one of us. That all of us are brought close to God through the power of the love of Jesus Christ, not through the power of our own minds and our own wills and our intelligence and understanding, but through a simple, trusting, and deep and abiding faith that Christ is Lord, that Christ is Advocate, that Christ is Mediator. This is the faith of the Church. Not that we can save ourselves, but quite the opposite that we need a Savior, and that one Savior is Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. <clears throat>
and hatred. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own needs and concerns and the needs of those around us, remembering them now in a moment of silence as we sit before your throne of grace. Here at St. James, we continue to pray for Bruce. We remember those who have died, praying for Hillary and for Kenneth and for Bob. We pray for Father Andrew on his paternal leave and for his safe return. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who heard the prayers and gathered up the loving tears of Monica for the conversion of her child, Augustine, deepen our devotion, we pray, and help us to work in accordance with your will, that we may bring others, even our own kindred, to the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. We will have morning prayer again next Tuesday morning, but I'd also like to invite you to tune in on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock at www.stjamescathedral.ca for our Sunday morning worship which is uh, live streamed from our cathedral. You can watch it later in the day if you can't join us in the morning. Also, we will be reopening for in-person worship on September 13th. And our new newsletter edition, uh, for which will be sent out today, later on in the day, eConnections, will be available on that same website. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the website, you can sign up to receive our newsletter right into your inbox every single time we send one out. So we do hope that you will be able to join us virtually and hopefully even in person as we gather again to receive the sacrament as the body of Christ. Thank you and God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye now. <laughs>